I'm working on the Grand Teton National Park hat by Nancy Bates, and I'm adding French knots. This is the first pass around, and I'll go around one more time, filling in gaps and going slightly higher into the green area. Let me show you how I'm doing this. I've pulled the yarn up into the place where I want the next knot. I'm going to pull the yarn to the left and wrap it around the needle twice. The needle's going to go back down into the same spot that it came up from, but I actually like to move it over just slightly so that it traps the knot. Sometimes I find that with the larger stitches, if you put it in exactly the same spot, then the yarn disappears down and the knot is on the back side. I'm also going to save a step by moving my needle to the next position of the knot. Otherwise, you can just bring the yarn down into the hat and then bring it back up, but I find that this makes it go a little faster. And I've pulled through gently, and there's my knot. Once again, my yarn's going to get pulled to this side. I rest my needle on top and wrap twice. Put my yarn, put my hand inside the hat, put the needle back very close to that same hole, and then I'm going to bring it up in the position where I want the next knot to go. So I'm going to very gently pull the thread through while maintaining slight tension on that side of the yarn that was pulled to the left, and then let go to form the knot. One more. <laughs> 